So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is VBOX, so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So apparently a fight is in the works for November the 4th for a fight between WBC heavyweight champion John Tay Wilder and Luis King Kong Ortiz, who is the mandatory with the WBA. Luis Ortiz, 26-0 prolific puncher in the heavyweight division probably one of the most avoided heavyweights in the division but it looks like now Deontay Wilder could have a fight with um Lewis Ortiz this comes after um both men are promoted by Al Heyman and I think that Al Heyman wants to fight between the two fighters Lewis Ortiz recently signed with Al Heyman and Deontay Wilder has been with Al Heyman and Lou DiBello for a while now and I think this could be a very good fight we've got Deontay Wilder massive puncher as well as Lewis Ortiz who, are, who is a massive puncher as well so yeah this could be a good good fight you've got Lewis Ortiz who technically is a better boxer than Deontay Wilder but Deontay Wilder has that massive equalizer that big right hand that long right hand that has got him out of jail in a couple of fights his fight against Artis Spilka, his last fight against Gerald Washington, it got him out of jail because he was losing that fight, in my opinion, until he stopped Gerald Washington in the fifth round. But there is the situation with John A. Wilder's mandatory, which is Bermain Stavern. Fuck knows why Bermain Stavern is the mandatory challenger, because he hasn't fought since 2015, and that was against a high-level journeyman in Derek Rosse. And he looked poor in that fight. I think he was dropped in that fight as well with Mainz Stavern, and he won on points. And I don't know how he is the manager for the WBC. I know he was going to have that fight with Perfectkin for the interim title. But obviously Perfectkin pulled out with drug failures and stuff like that. So I don't understand why Mainz Stavern is the mandatory challenger. But he is and apparently he's not going to avoid um, the fight. That he's not going to take step aside money. And I think he should take the step aside money because at the end of the day, he's going to get paid twice for the same fight. And his promoter, Don King, should advise him to take the step aside money. But he don't even deserve the shot anyway, Bermains to Vern. I don't understand how people would want to show that fight again. Networks would want to put that fight on again because the first fight was just so one-sided. Johnny Wilder thoroughly beat... Um, Bermains to Vern to become the WBC heavyweight champion, beaten by a 12-round unanimous decision. And I think if they were to fight again, that he'd stop Bermains to Vern early in the fight because Bermains to Vern has been so inactive the past couple of years. And the fans want to see Luis Ortiz get a shot at the world title. They want him to see, they want him to fight the best. And if he's not fighting Anthony Joshua, who he is mandatory for for the WBA title, then why not John A. Wilder for the WBC title? I think that's a very good fight, and I hope that it gets signed and it happens on November the 4th. So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's